Oh, um, you caught me at a bad time. Uh, give me two minutes. Hi, my name is Elliot Fury, and today we will be discussing the stages of meiosis. Now, meiosis, put simply, is a type of cell division that produces gametes. It has eight steps with the same four steps as mitosis, PMAC, prophase, metaphase, anaphase, and telophase. Of course, each of these are repeated twice. So there's prophase one and prophase two, metaphase one and metaphase two. Let's get started. In prophase one, the chromosomes condense and pair into homologous pairs. Genes are swapped in a process called crossing over and the nuclear envelope begins to disappear. Along with this, centrioles relocate to their opposing poles and spindle fibers are made. In metaphase one, the chromosomes line up on both sides of the cell equator and spindle fibers connect to the homologous pair centromere, which brings us to anaphase one. This is when the parts are eventually drawn away from the equator. It is basically a preparation for telophase one, which is my favorite part. Okay, now on to that. In telophase one, the nuclear envelope reappears as the spindle fibers disappear. The cell then splits into two cells with 23 double-stranded chromosomes. In prophase two, the nuclear envelope goes away once again and the chromosomes condense. Spindle fibers begin to form. It's pretty similar to prophase one. In metaphase two, the chromosomes move to the cell equator. The spindle fibers connect to them. Then we move on to anaphase two, where the spindle fibers start to pull and contract. This action causes single-stranded chromosomes to be pulled apart. Lastly, we have telophase two. Nuclear membranes are reformed and the cell divides again. This creates four haploid cells in which there are 23 chromosomes. I hope you enjoyed. Click the link in the description to see my plan. Thank you.